Hello, welcome to a new episode. And today we start with this great British punk rock band, The Jam. Uh, they was formed 1975 uh, by Paul Weller. And uh, you that have followed my series know that Paul Weller, Paul Weller also uh, was the grounder of uh, the Style Council that we have an album with in the episodes. This Dig the New Bread was released 1982 and it's the last The Jam album. Uh, it's a live album and uh, they have taken different live performance from 1977 until 1982. And here we have the songs and uh, Going Underground is my all-time favorite with this band, even if they have a lot of good songs, but uh, I really love that one and uh, it's uh, on my to-do list. We will see if it shows up someday, but uh, this is... Uh, a really really great live album for sure and here is some notes from the members but short time after this release the jam split up 1982 but uh, like i said really really great you should absolutely check this album out and the uh, next one is also a well-known band, Depeche Mod. This album is called Violator. Uh, that is their most successful album and has sold seven and a half million copies. Uh, respect to that number for sure. Uh, they was formed 1980 and uh, it was Wings Clark and Gahan and Gore. Gahan and Gore are still uh, active with the band today. Wings Clark leave already after a year and uh, he have uh, great success with his band because he formed Yasuo and after a period with Yasuo he formed Erasure. Respect. Three bands that uh, really has doing great and uh, this was released 1990 and uh, remember it's my opinion I have never been a fan of Depeche Mode, but uh, this album is okay, absolutely. So uh, the songs is uh, it's easy listening. The song "My Personal Jesus" was a huge uh, single success for sure. I think many of you have heard that song. Uh, the album is really great mixed, really, really, really great. And uh, you should see here, it's, I don't know what I should say about the cover art. It's, in one way, it's a little boring and at another way, it looks pretty good. I have hard to decide what I think about it. I let you uh, s tell me what do you think about the cover work. It's clean and shining strongly. Yeah, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but for sure, this was uh, the, uh, the most success in uh, US Billboard also for the band. We leave that one and go to the last one. That's something I really love. 
I buy this album the same at the same time when I buy Kiss first album. This is a really cool album cover for sure. The building there is Maple Durham Water Mill. And uh, this was uh, the first Black Sabbath album. You know, it was recorded and mixed at two days. 1969, but being released 1970. You have a poem here. And uh, Geezer Butler and Bill Ward was not happy about this because uh, they was uh, yeah they they don't like it because they they uh, was afraid what uh, people gonna say a long time after this has been released and it was the record company's ID and they release it without uh, their knowledge. And uh, Geezer absolutely don't want his parent to see this because they, they was really hard believing Catholics. And uh, it's only the U European version that is uh, fold out with this poem. And uh, honestly, it brings the thoughts to uh, Satan. Absolutely, when it is a cross that's not pointing in the right direction. Uh, the song, The Wizard, on this album, uh, it's inspired of uh, Gandalf. So, uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, you should absolutely check this album out. It's really great. Uh, all the songs are great. It's a fantastic, strong first album for sure. So that was the albums for this episode. Hope you enjoy it. See you.